behind me here, you can see my backyard. And I've just done a hyperscan. It's gonna be really interesting to see how well it comes out. I tried deliberately to get some complicated things in here, such as all of these plants, multiple different angles. Uh, even more plants over here. I have some areas where I get inside and behind things. I have an area, of course, with no ceiling. I have an area with no walls. Right at the back here, you can see there's no walls. I have some things with some writing on it, like this gas canister behind me by the barbecue. I have things that are near distance and things that are far distance. I have details such as fluffy cushions over here. I have leaves, trees, bark, grass, dirt, rubbish, <laughs> stuff that's a mess. I'm so intrigued to see how this works outside. I was very careful. As you can see, there's a sun right here. I was trying to make sure the sun was in the right frame uh, in the right position and ideally behind clouds, but they cleared as soon as I started. Uh, but I didn't want to break the headset. I did try to capture a little bit of my dog who is right here. Uh, I don't know if she's going to appear in there or whether they will figure out that she needs to not be in it at all. There might be another dog running around in the background, but you have to do several scans. One scan is a just an overview of where the floors, the walls, etc., are. Then you do a detailed scan. Then the third part is the ceiling. So I'm going to be really intrigued to see just how well it works. In addition, as you can see here, there is a gentle breeze going on. So that can't help it, but only time will tell. It's saying it's gonna take about 18 minutes to upload. My guess is it took me about 20 minutes to do the different levels of scanning. Um, from last time, it took a few hours to actually do the processing. So hopefully by tonight or maybe tomorrow, I'll be able to see just how well it works. Okay, till then. Okay, here we are in my backyard. For some reason, it starts me on the floor as if I'm a dog height. It's kind of interesting. You heard that I put lots of different tests all around it. And I wanted to really find out what works and what doesn't and why. Thanks to Yano and Chris Corin for the idea to actually come out and do this. So let's actually have a look at what we got here. If I actually beam, I jump to... It keeps asking me this. It's really strange. I'm not going to give this a five star. I think this deserves a four. The reason being, it is really good. It's not as good as the detail inside. As you heard in my intro, I think possibly it's because of the complexity. Similarly, there's wind moving things around. But if we just gently take a look around here, you can see it's really good. It is still really good. Uh, let's take a look at some details. First of all, this rug. You can see like the etch marks in there, which is fascinating how it tiles these splats. If we look at my phone, it's pretty blurry. Uh, the details here are, yeah, you kind of, you can see how it's, comp how the components parts fit together. The detail in the table is not there. Similarly, even on these, on the floor, uh, Yorkstone, I think they're called. They're not great. Interestingly enough, they're better when you're a little bit away from them. So if I come here and then look back, that looks more realistic than if I actually go on top of it. So I think it's like artwork in that regard. Sometimes it's better appreciated from afar. This bamboo, ridiculously complicated. And you can see some of the components are actually really clear. If I zoom right in close, you can even put your head in there, which is just still super bizarre. If we look down here, these, oh, I won't actually let me get down a little bit closer at least. The pedals on here are, it's fascinating how it puts it together. But again, from a little distance away, it's actually pretty good. Let's look over, let's look at some interesting parts. 
I don't know if you can see this, where this red part is here. That is crystal clear for me. This, not so much. This, quite good. So it's almost as if there's a distance thing that actually does work well. If we go around the side of my house, you can see as I get closer, it gets blurrier. But it could be the scan from this distance had some wind or something. I'm not sure. That right there is a static object, and it is really crystal clear. Uh, this back part here, the alley... You can see things are pretty good. Um, not amazing, but a change of light. You can see into my neighbor's yard. Things above me. It was really struggling with the ceiling here. And in fact, it took me about... Uh, well, let's actually see. I tried it multiple times after making the scan, and it kept failing to do the upload. Eventually, it did it on the fourth attempt overnight. So I don't know whether it's a bandwidth issue. I think this file must be huge. Uh, I don't know if you can tell how big the files are. I'll see if I can dig it out. But considering we're around the side of the house, this is still amazing. I, we've got that dimensionality to it that allows you to get around. There are definitely some nuances. I am not sure what that is at all. But uh, also note, this is a mirrored table. So look how the mirror comes out there. Kind of interesting, and the metal, the reflective metal as well. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. These flowers are amazingly accurate. Let's actually look around what else we have here. The grass. The grass is uh, pretty fascinating. If we look at the grass from a distance, it's pretty good. If we go up close, it's, it's a blurry mess. Absolute blurry mess. Interestingly enough, I don't know if you can see this, it's like there's a subsurface layer to the grass. I hope this uh, isn't real or, or else I'm living in some <laughs> matrix or <laughs> stranger things or something here. But there is clearly something happening underneath this. You can even see a blueness. Let's try and find that again. What is this like secret blue thing under, underneath that? Where is it? Here. I have no idea what's underneath that or what that is. I'm guessing it's a reflection. It just makes it look like it's three-dimensional. Okay, let's look under here. So this tree has an under area. So if I come underneath it, you can see that it didn't scan it perfectly well. I did go under there, and it was struggling to identify the ceiling. I think because what it wanted to do is have a flat ceiling. And I think that really caused it some issues because even in the level three part of the scan or the fourth part uh, it would actually just put a flat ceiling around me and tell me that you know look up but it was really struggling because there is no ceiling there's nothing to reflect off of it but that said and done it did an amazing job amazing job okay so let's look at this tree this is a great one you can see that it's pretty good from a distance if we get closer it almost becomes stylized. This this cutoff part of the branch here is just blur. Uh, this, as you get closer, has definitely lost its detail. But look at this thread. This thread is actually pretty amazingly well captured. Similarly for this, this hanging structure, uh, this little swing rope thing, it's, yeah, it's not perfectly good detail, but it is three-dimensionally very, very accurate. Very clever. Uh, what is interesting too, if you look at the distances compared to the near sighted stuff, so the distance is very well captured. I don't know how it's doing that, but it has these layers for that depth and it does it very well. Not just two dimensional um, barriers or, or layers, but it actually looks like these are still three dimensional objects because each part of it is relative to another thing behind it. If we take another look at this tree, this side of the tree worked out to be a little bit more accurate for whatever reason. What I do love about it is I can even come around the sides and it fills in gaps. Did I capture every part of that tree? I don't know. But if I didn't, that would explain why it's a bit of a mesh. But it filled it in extremely well, all said and done. Again, up close, it's not the best. You can actually see little parts moving around. I think that is an artifact of the splat itself being like this little volumetric blob instead of a normal photogrammetry technique. Okay, next one to look at is 
this. Let's actually go to these plants here. So as I get closer, this gets a lot blurrier. This was being really affected by the wind. So I think that's what was causing it. And again, here you can see these. I think that's the wind affecting some leaves more than others. What is great is I can jump into places like behind the plants and see what's really going on. That's really cool to get this view. Again, the wind I think has affected it, but look how it adjusts. So clever, so clever. Okay, let's come over here. This I love. This is my dog who sat on that table. I think I showed you a picture of her earlier. <laughs> she was just up there trying to check out what's going on. Wanted to put the headset on, I think, but she's just following me. It took her out of the picture, but there is this artifact of her in there, which is pretty interesting. Note, of course, she wasn't there the whole time. If I come over this side, you can see she was here when I was scanning there. Uh, but I don't think we can really tell that she's there. But note you can see underneath the table here. That's so good. That really is good. But yeah, that was my dog right there. And if I come here, you'll see her move to this side right there. And you can just make out her legs. It's actually a bit stronger here, interestingly enough. You can see her legs and her body, but not her head. Let's take a look at some text. Text obviously is hard. This did not do a great uh, recapture of that. Not that I really cared too much. And I didn't go super in deep because you can tell by that. That's the closest I got. And there are some big texts and some small texts that does not work clearly in this. If we look at the logo here, it's blurry. You can't really tell what the brand is of that or the details on the dials or the, the measurement increments around these as well. So fine details do not work great, but there are definitely some textures that work better than others. Graphs, you can see mostly eh, it's okay. It's good at a distance, but <laughs> I do love that three dimensionality of the floor. That is just wild. But if we come over here, Look at the cushions over here. And note, I apologize, I did not tidy my backyard for this occasion. But the cushions, the fluffy cushions look, look pretty cool. Uh, at least from this distance. If we get closer, let's see what they look like. And uh, that's interesting. The tiles on this did not appear very well. The cushions still look really good. I'm not sure if that's a stain on there that's come out, but if it is, that's actually pretty good. Um, you get closer, they definitely get a bit more blurry. But from afar, that's just, it's pretty outstanding. You do get a real good sense of what this could be like. I feel like this could be great for capturing some details of crime scenes or of historic places, things that could be really interesting to see and explore from anywhere. Similarly, maybe famous people will let you come into their house and live what it's like. I remember a TV show years ago, cribs or something where you could actually go and see different people's house now you could explore them which would be pretty awesome you could even pretend you live in those places i think with the advent of the new putting components in your room plus this means you'll be able to live in somebody else's house inside your own house or wherever you are it could be on a beach it could be in a castle who knows okay let's look at some extra details here this is my climbing structure if we come around here you can see the ground level is not the best. It's okay, um, but it's okay. It's good enough. These, as you get closer, I wanted to see if I could even turn this into a climbing game. Uh, you may or may not know we have an adventure climb VR game, so I thought it'd be really cool to put some of the physics into this. It might be possible. I'd have to put the hands on, but uh, you can kind of see how it would work here. It's lost a little detail. Things are a little blurry. I possibly could have scanned it a little bit closer. Uh, level one scan, which is just the general scan, took me about, uh, I wanna say 10, 15 minutes. Then the second level scan, which was the, the detail, took me another probably 20 minutes or so. Then I did a third scan, which was the, the ceiling, and that took an extra 10 minutes. I think there was three scans, there might have been a fourth, uh, but, any which way, it took probably an hour to scan this entire garden from start to finish. And then, as I said earlier, several hours for it to actually load up. We've got some moles coming in. You can see those. They just came a few days ago. Uh, 
Now, the one thing I do want to show you, which is pretty nuts. I apologize for the mess here, but I've got this little storage area under here where I just store my junk. If we actually go under it, you can actually see complete three-dimensional perspectives. So in photogrammetry, I found things really struggle with thin walls where you can see from both sides and get un into it and underneath it. This does not have that issue at all. So in, for that reason, this is the best photogrammetry tool I think I've ever used. I just wish we could have more features and functions, but I'm sure they're coming soon. All that said and done, let's wrap this up. The sky, despite having problems, and I couldn't even probably get past 40% of it, I just accepted it. I got bored of it and like, ah, that's good enough. I think it's turned out exceptionally well. Things in the distance, really good. Fine details, writing, etc. Grass, not so much. It's the cushions, etc. They're good from a, about six feet away, but as you get closer, you can clearly see it's not realistic. So overall, it's definitely better inside than outside. I got a feeling this scan is absolutely huge, which is probably part of the problem with the upload. Plus we have wind and so many complexities to this. But any which way, if you can get this, I think it's version 81 of the OS system for the Quest 3. It is, is staggering. It's worth trying out. You can't do much with it yet, but I think that's coming soon. So I hope you like this video. And if you want to make more, or you've got ideas about where I should go next, Again, this is from Yano and, and Chris Cano that said I should do this. If you've got more ideas, let me know because I'd love to make more videos, uh, especially when it's relevant to what you guys want to see. All right. Cheers.